So as we start to turn our focus to the holiday travel season, I wanted to share with you really quick some of my tips for getting cheaper airfare. To start, I want to show you my favorite place for booking flights, and that is Google Flights. Now, the reason I've chosen them is they actually bring all of the different airline prices into one place. So it's really easy to look through and decide which flight is best for you. They also have some cool tools that help you to save even more money. Now, to illustrate how I'm going to save 50% on this flight, I want to use a very very, very simple flight. We're going to fly from the west coast of the U.S. to the east coast. And by that, I mean we're going to go from LAX in Los Angeles to JFK in New York. And we're going to pick a basic holiday time span from the 18th and returning on New Year's Day. So this is what I mean by they grab all of the prices from all over the net and bring it to one place. So it's very easy to see who has the best price. Not only that, but how long you're flying, how many stops you have, and even the emissions if you want to be able to take a flight that has less emissions. But let's get back to my main story for here. So this is a typical flight from LA to JFK. If you come to this middle section here, you'll see that it's saying, prices are high for this time period. This is a great tool that Google Flights has so that you always know what you're looking at. Are you buying when the price is high? Should you buy it now? Should you wait? This is a great tool for those things. Another tool that's great for these is this track pricing. If you have the time to wait to buy your ticket, then I always suggest toggling this on and then it will email you every time there's a price change. However, in this case, it is now September and I'm looking at flights for the December time period. So it might be a little too close for comfort to wait on buying a ticket. You might have a little bit of maybe a week or two, but I wouldn't wait too long or else prices will continue to rise and then you might be stuck buying at a very high time. All right, all that being said, so right now our cheapest price, and it's always highlighted in green, our cheapest price is 442. If you were to search through all of these prices here, uh, the cheapest we are finding is 442. Okay, how can I make this cheaper? One of the ways that I always recommend doing is changing your airports, both where you're leaving from and your destination. So in this case, I'm gonna say all of Los Angeles, so it will bring up all of the airports in the LA area, including LAX and Hollywood. I could also add airports here. You can add, click the add sign. And for instance, I know I can leave out of Santa Ana. I know I can leave, which is the same as John Wayne, by the way, uh, I also know I could leave out of Long Beach, and those would be all within easy driving distance for me in Los Angeles. Now look, I don't know if you noticed, but right here, already by adding different airports, it has added the opportunity to save more money by changing dates, but a possibility has now opened up. Before I do that though, I wanna add to New York. I'm gonna say all of New York City, which means it's gonna bring JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark into the equation. Now look again, same thing. If I change the dates, now I've opened up my possibilities and have more opportunity to save money. So next step is to go to the date grid. Date grid is my favorite place to go because you can see, okay, maybe if I come on a Friday instead of a Saturday, or maybe if I leave Sunday instead of Saturday, or return on Sunday instead of Monday, this is a great place to go to see where you can get cheaper flights. So right now we're sitting at about 364 for the cheapest, but look, if I can leave on Wednesday and come back Friday, I can get it for only 225. Even better, if I leave Wednesday and come back on Tuesday, if that's in my ability to do, I can get it for $182. That is over 50% savings from the 442 mark that we initially got when we were first looking. I'm gonna go ahead and click this in. Let's just say I can make these dates work and we're going to see it change. And don't just look at the top, uh, although this is better. This is certainly better. This is close to 50% savings. Uh, the reason they said it's the best departing flights is because it typically has fewer stops and fewer length of time in the air. But if you scroll down here, you can see that the trip is 182. So these are the key tools I use for, with Google Flights so that I can save money on all of my flights. Yes, it involves being flexible on your airport. Yes, it involves being flexible on your date, but those are gonna be the best ways to get the cheapest prices for your holiday travel. Now, one quick caveat to this, if this was you and you are planning to go to LA to New York this year and you're saying, oh, cool, 182. One thing I just wanna kind of bring to your attention, Note that this is Spirit. Spirit Airlines is the ultimate cheap airline. <laughs> you're welcome to fly it if you feel comfortable flying it, but just know that you're going to be charged for everything. And I do mean everything. You're gonna be charged for luggage. You're gonna be charged for every tiny peanut and drink. You're gonna be charged for everything. That's why they're so cheap. 
So just make sure before you're deciding ultimately just going with the cheapest, make sure you understand what you're getting into and if you're okay with that, but also notice things like the stops. Are you willing to spend 12 hours traveling or would you rather pay a little bit more and have it cut down to only uh, seven hours. So those are the, some things to consider. And if you are traveling this year, these videos should help you out, or if we can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great holiday travel season, and we will see you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.